Hi, my name is Jeremy Arndt, and I'm here from Live Love Travel Dream. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the vegetable oil system on our bus, Two Birds, here. So we've converted this big Bluebird bus to run off of recycled vegetable oil from restaurants. So while we're on tour, we can collect the oil from the restaurant's waste bin, and we can process it on board, and then we can turn it into fuel that will take us around the country. We partnered up with WBO Designs for the major components for the vegetable oil conversion and also our filtering equipment. And uh, then I found a design on the internet for a Dodge truck with a Cummins engine, which is the same engine that we have in our bus. It's a Cummins 5.9. And I adapted that schematic to uh, fit the needs of our bus. So we have a two tank system where the bus has the original diesel tank and then we have the entire vegetable oil system and they're on switchable circuits. Many older diesel engines can run off of vegetable oil as a fuel um, as long as the oil has been filtered, as long as it's been dewatered, and then the system has to be heated. Um, heating the oil changes the viscosity of it, so it's more like diesel fuel. Now I'll go ahead and talk about some of the vegetable oil component systems that are in the bus. Okay, now we have our first component. This is the vegetable oil tank, a uh, very key component in the system. This is a 110 gallon aluminum fuel tank, uh, came off an old military truck. Uh, so that will allow us on a full tank to go about a thousand miles fossil fuel free. Um, the tank has a couple different components in it. The first we have, this is the WVO Designs Raw Power Hot Stick. This is a very crucial component in the system. Um, first of all, it allows the coolant from the engine to come in through here and it heats the, the hot stick and that goes down into the tank and then the coolant leaves to go back to the engine. But when it's in the tank, it's heating the oil around the hot stick in, inside the tank. And then also, as the oil comes up into the fuel hose, it's heating it. That's the first step in heating our system. Also, we have just an inline filter here to make sure that anything that might have slipped by um, our filtering system and gotten into the tank doesn't go into our lines to make them clogged. Um, also we have a Schrader valve here. This is just something that we added to allow us to pressurize the tank. If you run out of fuel with a diesel, it can be often difficult to prime the engine. So that way we can just connect an air compressor and we can pressurize the tank. It'll force the fuel towards the engine and it'll eliminate any air pockets in the line. This isn't our final system in the bus. Um, this is just the early stages of construction. It allows us to use uh, the vegetable oil system. Right now we're filtering uh, the oil in the shed, uh, which you'll see later. But when the bus is finished, we'll be able to fi filter the vegetable oil right on board. So we'll have an additional tank up here. That'll be where the dirty oil goes. And then this is the clean oil tank. And then we'll have the centrifuge right here. You'll see the centrifuge later on. And then that'll allow us to drive up to a restaurant. Uh, we can pull out our uh, vegetable oil pump and we can pump the fuel right into the tank, filter it on board and head on down the road. So as the vegetable oil leaves the fuel tank, it goes up and underneath the bus to the next component. And this next component I really, really like. It was a hard component for me to wrap my mind around at first because I had never seen anything like it. But it's called a tube and hose system, and it basically allows the uh, vegetable oil to travel through a heated hose as it goes up to the front of the bus where the engine is. So the hoses come from the fuel tank up above, and they come through the floor here, and then they go underneath to the tube and hose system. So essentially what this system is, um, this is really breaking it down, it's an aluminum fuel line, and then a one inch heater hose and the coolant flows through the heater hose from the engine and the aluminum fuel line is actually traveling through the hose. So as the fuel is going towards the engine, the, the coolant is coming from the engine and heats the, uh, the line here. So this tube and hose system, uh, it's also called a hose and hose system, uses components that you can get at your hardware store as well as uh, maybe some online auto parts retailers. So we, first, it uses the aluminum fuel line that goes through the coolant hose, as I said earlier. Um, but then we wrap that coolant hose in pipe insulation from just from your local hardware store. And then we put that inside a PVC pipe. 
So that allows it to be protected and insulated as the vegetable oil is flowing to the front of the bus. Um, the key is you want this oil to be hot when it hits the injection pump on the engine. So this has a long distance to travel in our bus, so we want it to be getting heated as it goes. Um, it uses a couple other components too. It uses a pipe T that has several different fittings on it and you can see more about that on our website. So you'll notice under here that there's two different um, PVC pipes and each of these pipes um, has coolant flowing through it. One is coolant coming from the engine and it goes back to the hot stick which was in the fuel tank that you saw before and the other one is coming out of the hot stick and going back to the engine. All right, now as it leaves the tube and hose system, the vegetable oil is going to continue its path towards the engine uh, in the rubber fuel lines, and it's going to come to the next component, which is the WVO Designs uh, heated filter. And that includes a couple components, such as the heated filter head and the filter element and different fittings. So as we come under the bus, you can see the uh, heated filter head here and then it goes into the filter element and there's a water separator on the bottom. Um, you can just kind of twist that and drain a little bit of fuel if you get any water in there or anything. There's two lines coming into it and one of them is the coolant line, the big line here, and then you have the vegetable oil lines coming in and then they're both coming out. And then it goes from the, the heated filter up to the next component which is the flat plate heat exchanger. But this is a very crucial component in getting hot vegetable oil to the engine. So now we come into the engine bay and this is the Cummins 5.9 diesel engine. This is the same engine that's found in the Dodge trucks. And really we don't have to make a whole lot of modifications in the engine bay. Um, and there's no modifications to the engine itself so we're just modifying the fuel system. Um, you can see up here there's a brass T and one side comes up from the veggie filter and the, the heat exchanger that we just saw. And then the other side comes from the diesel tank. So uh, both of them tee in there and then they go into the injection pump. Uh, you can choose between them with the valves, the switches for the valves. And then there's a couple other modifications. Um, the diesel line comes up here to the diesel filter. Um, and then it comes through to the diesel hose. Um, the vegetable oil line comes from underneath where we just were, uh, where the vegetable oil filter is and the flat plate heat exchanger. So here we have the valves where we choose uh, between the diesel system and the veggie oil system. A lot of uh, vegetable oil systems will use electronic valves. We chose manual valves because we felt that in the long run they would be more reliable <clears throat> and you just, you can't really mess, go wrong with uh, a manual valve as long as you don't switch it wrong. So the first valve here is the tank valve. This allows us to choose either the diesel tank or the vegetable oil tank. The second is the filter valve. This allows us to choose the diesel filter which is in here in the engine bay or the vegetable oil filter which is underneath. And then this is the return valve and the return allows us to either return the fuel to the diesel tank or to loop it back around, come into the veggie oil system again and then go back into the engine. Um, and then, so that way that allows us to keep burning vegetable oil and not send it to the wrong, the wrong tank. So these valves can be either all on the diesel side or you switch them all and they're on the veggie oil side. So the key to using this system is to start the engine on diesel fuel and allow the engine to get to operating temperature and then it'll heat the complete vegetable oil system that we just went through and then once the engine is hot and heating the fuel then we can go ahead and switch over to the vegetable oil system. So now we're going to go ahead and start the, the bus. And we'll let it warm up and then we'll go for a little ride on vegetable oil.
gonna go ahead and go into the shed and we'll talk about the filtering setup. So now I just want to show you quickly before we head into the shed our pump setup. This is our uh, what we use to move the vegetable oil into the bus or into the shed for our filtering setup. It's just a Honda engine and it uses WVO Designs components uh, mated to their Goldstream pump. And that pump head pumps 25 gallons per minute so we can move that vegetable oil pretty fast. So come on in. Okay, so now we're in the shed and we're gonna talk about our centrifuge, which is the heart of our filtration system. Um, the centrifuge allows us to turn recycled oil or waste oil from a restaurant into fuel quality. And um, so what this does is there's a, a barrel up here and we open the valve of this barrel and that allows the vegetable oil to just feed down with gravity through here. And it comes into the bolt-on heater. This is available from WVO Designs and then it goes into their um, raw power centrifuge. So this centrifuge, it spins the oil um, at such high rates that it, it separates the particles that might be in the, present in the oil and the water that might be present um, from the oil to leave you with a pure um, fuel quality oil. So the clean oil comes out here, it goes into our clean barrel, and when you're all done and you turn it off, the waste oil comes um, and, and empties into the dirty barrel. Now we're going to go ahead and go for a drive. The engine's all heated up. We'll switch it to venting oil just up here up the road. switch to veggie oil, I just have to reach down with the valves here and switch them all over. And that's it, we're running on veggie oil. The diesel doesn't be good with air. So when we're near the end of our drive, we want to get diesel back into the system before we shut it off. We don't want to shut off the bus or any, any vehicle with veggie oil in the lines. So we're going to switch back to the diesel system to run a purge and then when we get home we'll, we'll turn it off and we'll be good to go. So you want to turn the tank and the filter first and then you want to wait a second while uh, diesel fuel flows through the loop to return and then you'll see the return back to the diesel tank. That's it. That's the veggie oil conversion in uh, Two Birds, our 1992 Bluebird bus. Uh, we're Live, Love, Travel, Dream, and we're really grateful to WVO Designs for sponsoring us with the components to make this happen. And uh, I really think that this is a project that anybody with a basic mechanical knowledge could uh, accomplish. It took a friend and I just a long weekend to install all the components and a little bit more time to get everything running properly and going. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching.